Control, this is the International Space Station. Uh, we're detecting several objects with us here in Earth orbit. Wait, they're, they're coming into view now. It's, it's a yo-yo. And a top. Mission Control, they're toys! Uh, roger that. We're sending you some science experiments that use toys to demonstrate physics principles. The investigation is called... International Toys in Space! Space. Science on the Station. Here's your host, NASA astronaut Leland Melvin. Hi, I'm Leland Melvin, NASA astronaut. Welcome to International Toys in Space. In the past, you may have seen other NASA programs that highlighted toy experiments conducted on board the space shuttle. This time, we're going totally international, both with the toys that travel into space and with the space station they're going to. The toys have been collected from around the world, with over 40 toys being selected as candidates. In the end, less than half that number were considered good enough to make it through the selection process. Hey, what's that duck doing on stage? Sorry, Rubber Duck. Better luck next time. As Sergei releases the yo-yo for the first time, it returns along the string. Next, he releases the yo-yo with less spin and the yo-yo wobbles on the string. Notice that once the yo-yo starts back along the string, it continues to move towards Sergei, even if the string is loose. Objects in straight line motion stay in motion in space. A yo-yo sleeps when it spins freely in a loop at the end of the string. The yellow yo-yo is designed to sleep when it spins fast enough. Unfortunately, we did not release the yo-yo with enough spin to trigger the clutch in the yo-yo. The black yo-yo has a digital computer inside that can provide the yo-yo's speed. This yo-yo is heavier. When spinning, it has more angular momentum and returns along the string more easily. The turning rate measured by the yo-yo's computer in revolutions per minute is 796. This is a sleeping yo-yo, but there's no downward force to hold the yo-yo in the loop when it reaches the bottom of its string. Thanks, Peggy. Now, if you'd like to find out more about Expedition 5 or the International Space Station, go to this NASA website. And as for the toys, well, you've seen the experiments. Now it's up to you to draw your conclusions. Remember to think about what changed and what stayed the same once the toys were brought into space. I'm sure your research will be toyrific. For International Toys in Space, I'm astronaut Leland Melvin. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>